Pride Month celebration continues on AM Extra. And you know, a struggle for many LGBTQ plus couples is getting on that path to parenthood. But there is help out there for those families, and that includes a local fertility clinic. So joining us live to share their inspirational story is Tracy Palmer and Lindsay Cohen, who are clients with ORM Fertility. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Tracy, can you tell us and start off about your journey to pregnancy? Yeah, so I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant, um, thanks to ORM. You actually interviewed our doctor, Dr. Barbieri, I think earlier this week. Um, so we started with at-home IUIs. We did six at-home IUIs with a midwife. Um, we used a sperm bank who delivered the uh, samples to our house. Our midwife would come over. We did six uh, IUIs at home, no success took a little break, uh, then COVID hit actually. Um, so our first meeting with Dr. Barbieri was actually over the phone. Um, and then we began working with ORM in about June of last year. Okay, and are the IUIs, like I, I have two uh, friends, uh, women who are married and they use like a, essentially a turkey baster at home. I mean, is it kind of like that to, d to dumb it down? Yeah, I mean, we we had a midwife come and do it, yeah. so there was still like medical instruments involved. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And so then, what was your experience like with ORM fertility? Obviously, it's had great results. Yeah, we, um, you know, when we went to ORM, we were kind of, you know, at our lowest point. Uh, lots of negative tests. So uh, when Dr. Barbieri kind of gave us our plan do some initial testing, make sure that everything's all good. Um, we find we, we felt really good that we had science behind us to help a little bit more with our journey. So she felt that medicated IUIs would be a great start for us. And we did four medicated IUIs. One of those resulted in a chemical pregnancy and then our fourth IUI was successful. And so now I'm pregnant. That's just so exciting. I know it's not easy. I mean, I've, I just was actually visiting with a friend who is uh, 24 weeks pregnant. So she's right at the same, the same spot yeah. where you are. But what's your message or advice for folks in the LGBTQ plus community and couples looking to be parents? I know my brother and his husband are considering it and my husband's brother and his husband are also, you know, taking this into consideration. And it's, it's a lot to think about. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I think our biggest advice would be to find uh, you know, support within this community. It can be a really difficult and lonely journey, specifically as LGBTQ people. So um, finding people who understand the struggle that you're going for, going through is really important. Um, and I think also I would recommend initial testing, like straight out the gate. If you're thinking about starting your family, just get some of that initial testing done with a fertility clinic to make mm. sure that everything is all good mm -hmm. because this process is really expensive. Um, right from the start as an LGBTQ couple. So it's just good to make sure that everything's, you know, as it should be before you begin the process. Yeah, it does seem like there's just so much more hope uh, nowadays, though, with, with all the advanced technology, medical technology, than maybe even, you know, 10 years ago. I don't know if this is something that, that many LGBTQ plus couples even thought was an option. So congrats Absolutely. to you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting. Yes, thank you for sharing that story, and I know it'll be inspirational to others as well. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And to learn more about ORM Fertility and their services, we'll have a link to their website at coin.com.